Okay, so in my last video, my camera battery died. Um, but I will do a uh, high def uh, or in depth um, presentation of the software um, at a later time. But what I wanted to quickly show was uh, the basic theory behind uh, the operation of the uh, uh, Speak FGM sensors. So what I got here is a uh, rare earth neodymium magnet from a hard drive and its north and south poles are at either end, I'm not sure which, so let's just use a compass and does this repel? Okay, that's repelling, so that's the south pole And there's our North Pole. So, the sensor is designed to be sensitive to the dynamic range of Earth's magnetic field from 80 to minus 80 microteslas or 80,000 nanoteslas. And it depends on which way it's oriented. Um, I was right to begin with. I was wrong in my last video. Um, I was getting some. Uh, I was getting some uh, crazy readings that had me doubting myself. But the terminal end of the sensor should be facing west, as I originally thought. Um, if you want a positive biased field reading. Um, turning it around will work, but you'll be getting an opposite polarity. So, um, this outputs a frequency between uh, 40 kilohertz and 120 kilohertz, directly proportional to the field. And to demonstrate that, I'm just going to take the north pole of this magnet and get close to the sensor, and you can watch the frequency on the oscilloscope as I get closer. So your period is decreasing, your frequency is rising. Um, if I take the North Pole from the bottom side, we ought to see the frequency decrease. So I'm coming from underneath the sensor with the South Pole, and you can see the frequency increase. So, it's a pretty neat design. So, these are sensitive to... There's two models. The FGM3 is sensitive to 2 nanoteslas. The 3H is 0 0.075 or 2.5 times greater. So, that frequency goes to a uh, ASIC that is also proprietary and designed by speak and it holds a 8-bit value one byte uh, 0 to 255 which uh, represents the variation in frequency um, when it's first set up there's a reset pin uh, it's controlled by software it'll set it to half scale half field so binary that would be 127 um, and the software and hardware is designed so that you can either uh, plot the digital data or for some greater resolution with the at the expense of uh, values that jump just a little bit you have an A to D converter I mean a D to A converter um, so a value of zero binary will give you zero volt. A value of 255 binary will give you 2.56 volt. But since we're using a 10-bit A to D converter, that gives you a range of zero to 512. Um, so you can see uh, why we offer uh, both methods of input. So when you reset that, it's, it basically zeros it out 
and your first few plots would be on the zero nanotesla line and then as the field varies throughout the day um, and the digital or analog values go up or down um, depending on your sensitivity setting um, the plot will react accordingly so just a little demonstration of uh, using a magnet and oscilloscope and to show you the basic uh, theory of operation behind these uh, great little sensors. More to come.